So we just finished the uh, zombie excavation kit. Um, there was something, a couple of things that I wanted to point out before the video started was if you get any of these kits, whether it's the dinosaur or the zombie or anything, any one of these excavation kits for kids, um, definitely put down a towel um, and the kids probably should be wearing goggles. Corbin was not and he did get some dust in his eyes, although it was fine, you know, I, he really should have been wearing goggles. Um, and it does create a heck of a lot of dust. So just be aware when you do one of these kits that you're going to probably want to put down a towel. Um, just be aware you're probably going to vacuum afterwards and safety goggles. Um, Gaia did bring a bigger hammer probably halfway through. That's also something I probably suggest um, if you do have a bigger hammer, either help the kids with it or if you trust them with it, you know, be around. This is under supervision. Um, it's going to uh, make it a, probably a little faster if you want them to have it done faster or if they're getting frustrated. Um, and it's, it's for me and Gaia, it was a lot more satisfying to use the bigger hammer. But anyway, um, I do kind of suggest a bigger hammer if they are getting frustrated with it. Um, use spray. It does keep down the dust and it does help uh, make things a little easier trying to to chisel through everything. It is a large piece of clay and I'm guessing all the all of the kits probably are a large piece of clay. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Wear goggles, have a towel down. This was the kit that we did use. Uh, it's probably backwards to you guys, but this is the kit that we used. I also have a, a dinosaur one. We found this at Dollar Tree, I believe. This uh, set was about ten dollars. I think the dinosaur one is also ten dollars and they have a insect one The insect and the dinosaur ones. I think you get six seven dinosaurs. This is the one with the least amount of Figures in it. and the figures were really neat Corbin really liked them. They're really detailed. So it's great for Halloween See little guys down there. It's a great piece for Halloween But yeah uh, about ten dollars for those sets at the dollar store so anyway i just wanted to interject and i hope you guys enjoy the uh zombie excavation video okay so we're doing our, our next activity we found this zombie excavation kit found it at um dollar tree dollar yeah, store yeah. i think it was only like ten dollars five to ten dollars I got this one and we got a dinosaur one, but this is really cool because I've never seen a zombie excavation kit. It says it's six plus, but Corbin and his zombies. Here, let me show the back. You get four zombies in there. You get the block of clay. You get, uh, what some else? Tools. You get, yeah, you get some tools. You get a hammer, a brush. Okay, so let's open this up and see what we get. This is a great for like a Halloween activity, you know? Yeah. You or didn't do if, the you, if you have, you, no, you? I haven't. Or if you have a toddler that absolutely loves zombies. Okay, so what we get in here is we get a hammer. Here's your hammer. You get some excavation tools. You get a chisel. That's called a chisel. And you get a brush. Okay. And then we get the big block that the zombies are in. It's all wrapped up, so we gotta go get a hand, a, uh, knife or something. Is it all wrapped up? It is. It's all wrapped up right now, so we gotta cut it out. It does say, as a warning, that this can create a lot of dust. So you gotta be aware. That's why I have the towel down. And even if this isn't a big success, I think I would go back and get some more of these. They have an insect one, a dinosaur one, and a zombie one that I saw. We got this dinosaur one. All right. It's a big block of dirt or clay, if you will. Okay, it says dig it out. Okay, you're supposed to chisel it with your... Here, let me see. Here's, here's an idea. Put the chisel down and 
hammer it, Shia, with your hammer. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> if you want something that will take get your kids, you know, active for a little bit. Let's do this in April. Maybe. Where is it? Athens. Don't they have something like that in Star Mountain? It might be the same thing. I don't know. No, like don't they have like a permanent thing? In oh yeah, I think they do. Either Stone Mountain or uh, Fernbank. Uh, this is called Jurassic Quest. It's on tour, and they have um, excavations. You need to hammer into it and break it apart. No, yeah, use the hair. Do you know how to use it? Like this. <laughs> right here, let me show you. This is your chisel, and you have your hammer, and you go. Ow. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. And it doesn't go very well, does it? It's really going to be work for you. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing to, to do uh, I see excavation. excavation. Yeah. Let me get up and next Oh, you can start digging. Maybe yeah. if you start digging in there, you'll find something. I, I see some of it. Do you? <laughs> Do you want me to help you a little bit? Yeah, I want you to break out this. Oh, I think I see something. Let's keep it out. Can you put your put your brush in there and Okay, I have three different sizes. There's something in there. Three different excavations. There's something in there. Is there? Yeah. There's something right there. Can you see it right there? Start digging, Corbin. You see yep, something? Yep, there's something right there. You try with your spoon, buddy. Yeah. Put it back over here. Put... Yes, you see it? It's there. It's there. Get it out. Yeah, I see it. I see something there. I think I see it. <clears throat> I think I see oh, it too. A little dust in your eye. Are you okay? Some, yeah, he got some dust in his eye. Do you want, why don't you sit down? My right chair. Oh, it was my hammer. Here, sit, sit down on the, on, the, on the chair so we can see a little better. All the way. Can he kneel on the chair? Oh, yeah, you, yeah, you can kneel on the chair, buddy. You can you can even stand on the chair a little bit if you want to. Try to ease it out. I think I see some of it. Just get I think out. I see some of it too. Go so we got. Definitely have one here, and then we have one at the surface right here. Is she so bit like you? Okay. Well, I see something right there on the top. Yeah. You should. You could go after that one. You should be able to get that. Right? Brush it toward you, buddy. Otherwise, it might go in your eye. Yeah. Again. <gasps> I don't think it's just gonna come out that easy because I think they're pretty big. Yeah. You gotta dig it out. That's what excavating's all about. This was a Corbin activity. Half hour later, uh, yeah. we got a spray bottle because if you get a spray bottle, um, it, it diminishes the dust and stuff, and it also helps with scooping stuff out. Um, so these guys are actually pretty big. This guy up here was the one that we had. We were starting to dig on, and like his head is up here, his arms are here, and this is his leg. And this is still the hand that we're still working on down and here. Another one. Yeah, these are the four different ones. Oh yeah, and that's the four different ones. Four different so ones we believe here. the one that's up there 
Gonna be this it's guy. Him. Yeah, either him or, or that him. guy. Oh, a hand. Well, I don't know. It could be that guy. Yeah, it could be this guy with his hand. Yeah. Hanging down. Yeah. But not that guy. No, no, no. <coughs> his hands are close together. Actually, that water softens it. Yeah, I know. It helps it a lot. Where is this guy buried? Yeah, this guy too. He's something special. Oh, I just broke through all the way. I thought I just said, yeah, I did. I broke through all the way. Hey. Puppy, no puppy. That's where we currently are with this guy right here. Cover your mouth, please. Oh, dear. Why'd you give that to him? <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> Let me go over that. <laughs> Wait, stop for me. That's a pretty heavy hammer, isn't it? But I'm strong. Yes, you are. Just be very careful. No, you don't hold. You have to hold it very carefully. Mm -hmm. Can we get that guy out, Daya? I think we did. We're gonna. Mama's almost Just there. About to. Here, can I see your hammer, please? Actually, why don't you do that? Why don't you hit very carefully the top of that? <laughs> yeah, that's going down. All right, let me see it for a second. Can I see it? Uh. Back up a little bit. I think we just about can. I think his hand's a little bit stuck here. He's like the monkey oh, bottle. Right. Go ahead, pull him out, buddy. Hey. <gasps> hey. <Yay! laughs> here, go ahead and clean him off. <laughs> Why don't you try try working on this guy and I'll go clean him off so you can see. Him. Try working on that guy there. Yeah, let's I'll start him digging him out. Careful. Just so you guys can see what he looks like after he comes out. Is that safe? Daya. Yes, it is. But not like this. No, that's not really how you hammer. Yeah, that's how you hammer. Because you're hammering down. You're hammering into something. It's too heavy. Yeah, it is a heavy, heavy tool. No, that Papa needs it. Yes. When he needs to build something, but if we, if we need to put the spoon diver, he can only use his hammer. Uh-huh. Let's make this wet again. I can see some of him. See, and then all the water disappears. It was inside there, but you know what it does? It makes it softer. It makes it easier for Daddy and Mommy to dig. See how you okay. can... Okay, these zombies are really kind of cool looking. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Let me show everybody. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them because... I see him. Let me just try something. Wait, 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 wait. Before we continue with this one, I'm going to put him. See a little better. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It's kind see of what I did? Detail. But. Did you break him? I cracked it. I oh. just cracked it. <gasps> oh, he cracked? Yeah. Look, look. You cracked the whole thing. That's really good. That's actually really good. Yeah, can you break? There, look at Whoa! that. Whoa. Look at my piece. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. Look what. Look what Gaia did. She cracked the whole thing. I don't know if you guys could see that. There's a big crack right there. Go ahead and take it apart, Corbin. Whoa! There's another guy. I gotta get and another. And I see even another guy. There's another guy poking right here. Wait, there's three more. There's three more zombies we gotta get out. So let's let's work on this guy first. Here, I'll help his camera. There. Look at what you did. Whoa. Whoa. Here, let's hammer that some more. We gotta 
break up the plaster. Once you break it up, that's the fun part. Like, it's so easy. Yeah. And I suggest right. a larger hammer. <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning, it's fun, but I think after a while, the kids want to break stuff. Yeah, want to get into something. Oh my gosh. Unless this is a broken. Oh, wait, yeah, this is a broken piece. We broke, yeah, we broke one of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. We here, you, you guys just work on that. I'll see what we broke off here. You know you don't have zombies until you lose an arm or a limb. Yeah, zombies are always losing their mm -hmm. body parts. Why? Because they're, they're zombies. zombies. Yeah, they, sometimes they fall off. Sometimes their jaw falls off and put it back on. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Corb. <gasps> but he's missing something, isn't he? Yeah, he's missing his arm, which I have right here, apparently. Here, let's hammer on this guy a little bit. Help me hammer. I just got like this guy over there. Corbin, help, help Gaia. Well, oh, what what do we got? Did you get one? Did you get another one? You gotta take off there. I think there's something in there, Corb. Maybe the pieces will come off. Let me put him back together. Maybe what this is here. If you use a big hammer, we can help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. I hope it goes back together. I think it will. Look at his hand is stuck in the in the in the plaster. We have to get that out. Excavator. I think he has a big crab. Let's see. Let me let, let's hammer it a little bit and see if we can get it open. Hey, maybe that'll work. <coughs> Is it moving? No. Oh yeah, their arms and legs snap on really easy. Good. Because we're about to lose another one here, I think. Can you do it? I'll, I'll hammer just a little bit. Their arms. Yeah. I mean, there it's almost go. like they're supposed to come off because their arms kind of come off very easy, but they're very easy to put back on. Maybe they figured you'd lose them when you were excavating. <laughs> or or yeah. the fact that they're zombies in general. Oh, that's another ugly one. Whoa. Okay, you got one more left, buddy. Hey, spray them clean. I'll go clean that one if you want to work on this one. I'll go clean that one. And I think you have now enough. Enough skill to get this one out. All by yourself. Yep. <laughs> Good job. I'll help you. Can we crack this? Crack some more. Should we crack it off of them? <gasps> Got some more off of them. <clears throat> Elbow's stuck. Legs are stuck. It looks like his other leg is stuck in the in the plaster. I see the zombie's body where it really to turn back in and fall off. What? I think Corbin's just pooping there. Uh, uh, oh. oh, look at you! Almost! Baby. Yeah, <laughs> you, you use the right yeah, tool. Yeah, you use the right yeah. tool. You have the hammers. You have the chisel. Here, use the use Papa's hammer. Corbin has his own hammer now. Is that my own? No, that's your own one over you there. Can use this one or this one. <laughs> All right, let's hammer. I bet this will do it. Let's hammer this guy so we can get his leg out. Let's see what we got now. Oh, oh. between his legs. Yeah, Want to do it some more? Harder, harder. Go ahead, hit it harder. Watch your fingers. All right. All right. Now you can probably get out between his legs. Cool boulders. Whoa. Some kind of a game, you know. You're outside. Yeah. Wow. It's all play. I should save that, shouldn't I? Wow. I think you can get it anyway, though, right? 
Yeah, but it's kind of neat. If he wants to go outside and just smash it up pieces or something, you know. But can you put it back to what the block it was? No. Uh -huh. I mean, it is all clay. I could probably, but it would never be the same. Mm. All right, let me go wash this one. Uh, ah, uh, wow, this one looks really cool. This one's a mummy. Dang. Dang. This one's a, a mummy zombie. I'm going to put these all in the lights. So and then you pull the needles. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, my God. These are the zombies all cleaned up. They're really, really detailed. And they do stand, all of them, except for maybe the mummy one. And the mummy one's a little weird because it feels a little more rubbery and toy-like than the other ones. And he doesn't stand up very well. But they are all very detailed. And Corbin loved it. He wants, he's trying to make some room for his zombies now. This is great for an older kid. They're going to be at it for a long time. Younger kid, you're going to have to help them. Um, I do suggest a heavier hammer, but be careful because they can break. Although they should be able to snap right on pretty easy. And here's the mummy one. Very detailed. Corbin loves them. He wanted to do the dinosaur one right now. Again, it does take a while whether you help your child or if you just leave them at it. Good game to have. Zombie excavation. Ta-da!